one eye. There didn't seem to be that much wrong with him. Do you think he went off because of that eye injury? Well, I think he's he's been in the wars all afternoon, really. He's, he's been down twice, received treatment on his calf, and he's also got the eye injury now, so difficult to know what's, what's taken him off. Perhaps the Italian bench deciding the time was right for him to make weight. Terrific tackle there from Sivivatu. But what a kick. We talk about the accuracy. Look at the urgency of the All Blacks there. They had two of them, three of them the other Italy did very well to retain possession there. Very good play by the Italians to hold on to that one. Osawai That's well played. Getting in the way on that occasion. Good play by Liam McDonald. That was brave as well from the fullback. Very good play. Leonard. They're away here, the All Blacks possibly. Collins feeding inside. Here we go. And here's That's Dougie Howlett. Howlett. Dougie Howlett getting inside of a record now. His second try of the day, Doug Howlett. He's now at the 45 tries for the All Blacks. The New Zealand record, Christian Cullen's 46, so who knows? There could be a new entry into the record books here for New Zealand before the end of the afternoon. Wayne Smith unmoved on the right there. Again, we talk about the, the support players and the lines are running from the New Zealanders. It's depth, there's guys inside and outside. The support players coming straight on to the ball. They're not drifting and taking up the space. Look how straight Carter hits this. Has the, he knows he's going to have a support player on the inside. And, gee, when you look up and you see it's Howlett with his speed, um, it brings a smile to your face. Howlett, another of those All Blacks. Taking a trip away from the Southern Hemisphere after this World Cup. He's going to be playing... Huntington Cup Rugby, Mac. The All Black kickoff work today. Very impressed. Leonard. Back to McAllister. Good catch that time from Kane Robertson. But look at the line in front of him. It's so well organised to chase there. And it's not just one black jersey there, it's three or four. Tronco yeah. emerges with it though. That's Portolami. That time to Delap. There's Troncon again. Hello, the Italians now just going as just going as ones and twos at the moment. No it's often the case when the game disintegrates like this that uh, guys are going to try and do something by themselves. This is, this is, bit, this is going to be a very very tough 23 minutes for Bibizio's men. I know we've already mentioned it, but Anton Oliver on there wearing 16 celebrates his 32nd birthday tomorrow it's an incredible coincidence isn't it when you consider that anton oliver his father also an all black they actually would you believe made their all blacks debut against the same opposition on the same ground now perhaps if that was in new zealand it wouldn't be so much of a coincidence but it was in uh, in port elizabeth against eastern yeah, province isn't it? it's an incredible story isn't yeah, it of course it is we'll be uh Linking up with Tanru Mugger and another former All Black, or Tanru Mugger is his coach, and uh, Andrew Merton's playing there as well. The second flight in French rugby next season is going to be quite outstanding, isn't it? There's certainly a lot of top players. Um, you know, there are a few on, on display here today who will be playing. The two Italians who are playing in uh, Pro 2 in Paris next season. Uh, so, makes for an interesting French league, and I, uh, you know, that. French rugby up until last night, you would say it was on the up. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever doubted the quality though of the uh, French National League. Top 14 rugby is no, the Certainly. They don't play uh, league games when there are internationals around, rather like the Guinness Premiership or the Magnus League. It really is strength against strength. Huge scrum from the All Blacks, then. they really took it to them. There's Jerry Collins. Stay up, thank you. Support there, Leonard. McAllister, the right, down right, through. Check. Howlett, can he get the hat trick? He can. Dougie Howlett's made it three. He gets the nod from Christoph Berdost as Wayne Barnes. They don't even need to refer it. And now Dougie Howlett has equaled the All Blacks record. Hey, well, I'm not sure who's claiming the try there. The slaps on the back of the head for both of them. So I'll have a look at the replay, but the 
which we have, it seems to, uh, he seems to want it. Lovely kick through from McAllister, controlled the bounce beautifully. No, that's Dougie Howlett's try all the way. Yes, I think we need the... Yeah, I, think, uh, I think I'm just trying to fool us up here. I think we need the uh, independent judgment, if only just to determine who is responsible for it. No doubt it's a try. Dougie Howlett completes a hat-trick. Technically superb play from McAllister. He just opened his body up and just slipped it through, controlled the bounce of the ball the whole way. It's a testing conversion now for Carter. Well, he has missed one this afternoon. It was quite possibly one of his easiest kicks of the afternoon as well, wasn't it? It was, it? it was about 15 metres from touch, but... We'll get a good view of this one, though. Oh, he's hooked that one badly. And uh, many people saying that maybe Major really should be in the starting 15 anyway. Well, I... It's difficult to judge McAllister uh, against the standard of opposition this afternoon, but he's moved into 10 now, which is, you know, he's handled the ball a lot, McAllister. I think if you looked at the stats, he's probably handled the ball more often than Carter has during the game because they, they do tend to alternate between the position of first receiver. Uh, he's an, an outstanding footballer, Major, and has been for many years in New Zealand rugby. And uh, look to him to be really wanting to force his place, uh, force his way into the starting lineup. That's for sure. And if there is any rivalry between Aaron Major and Luke McAllister, they'll be able to test it on the fields of England next season. Major, as I said, off to Leicester. McAllister playing in Sale. 62 points to seven. And we're only just into the final quarter. McAllister popping that into touch. Dan Carter. Well, he is somebody I think you wrap up in cotton wool when you need to. Well, good uh, spoiling tactics there from Italy. That's Tronco. And to De Marini. Good tackle coming in from uh, Ali Williams. Just look at the all-black organisation, just so quick into position. Guys working hard, they know where they've got to be. Italian's trying to set up a slow ball play here. Uh, uh, there we go, the inevitable hand in the and there's the depth from the support player. Great hands. Well, that was wonderful hands from Aaron Major on that occasion. Here's McAllister. That was Lowaki. Leonard, still inside the All Blacks half, Soyalo. Picked up there by Masoi. No problem, he's on his feet, went for the ball. There's McDonald, looks for a gap. There's Leonard. Oh, he sure got inside. Well, he went the wrong way. He totally went the wrong way there. Good play, though, from McAllister. The All Blacks are a little isolated here, it's been turned over by the Italians. Referee playing advantage here to the Italians. Back Italy. over from the knock -off. Down to 14 men. And that was the incident from the kickoff there. He uh, he took out the took out the um, lifters on um, on Soliallo and uh, the yellow card was shown. So down to 14 men. It's going to be a very tough uh, nine minutes or so for them. That was great. Hands, oh, lovely it? touch from Major. So it's such a, yeah, a real class footballer. So 17 minutes remaining. Let's go through those uh, results in the World Cup before involving these two sides. 101-3, the record defeat in 1999 at Huddersfield. But twice, New Zealand has scored 70 points. The first of those at the first World Cup in Auckland, 70 points to six, and then four years ago in Melbourne. When the All Blacks won by 70 points to seven. One man, first man, advantage, he lost it forward though. Knock on, advantage, black. Referee playing advantage to the All Blacks. He doesn't come, so we'll have a scrum now. Brendan Leonard coming on here as the uh, replacement scrum arm. It's actually his fifth cap. All five of them earned from the bench. 
a very exciting footballer, Brendan Leonard. He's, um, you know, it'd be fair to say he came a little bit out of the blue into, into this all, into this World Cup uh, squad, but it was on the back of very strong performances for his uh, province, Waikato. <laughs> So there it is, uncontested, uncontested scrums. Uncontested scrums. Passive scrum. Passive scrum. Yeah, Italy with a problem. Passive um, scrum, okay, gentlemen. No more fit props left on the substitutes bench. Wait, 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 wait. Two's right, in, two's in still. Uncontested. And, and they've got one calling right, as he was in the second as well. Middle, please. So. Can do this one, thank you. Stay bound, seven. I suppose that's a feather in the cap for men like Heyman, isn't it? Well, that's terrible play. So that's just been too cute. That was major on that occasion. Russell Wyatt, just into the all-black half. There's no players protecting that ball. That's... No, well, there no, it is. No, no, let go. No, let go. No. no. Well, you could see there at uh, Tong Kong just having a bit of a dust up with Chris Marceau. Not the right man to take on, I wouldn't have thought. Given his family connections in the boxing world, I imagine he knows a thing or two about throwing a punch. That's right. His, uh, his brother is he a former world uh, middleweight champion, I think. Yeah, I think that's right. That's dangerous play from Jerry Collins. There. The referee should have pulled that one up. That's right. Melina Masoi was the world middleweight title in the WBA division. Try and score this. And yeah, you get Chow on the left wing. Ball goes into touch. Be interested to see if we have a touch touch report here. This is a play from Jerry Collins that I was talking about lifting up the legs in that situation. No touch touch report. That surprises me. But that's very dangerous play. Leonard. Kick forward there from Major into space. This is a chase for Howlett. Will Howlett get there first? No, he won't on this occasion. Now that's sniffing the record. Beautiful kick. Just of anything, just uh, just one bounce too many on it. Yeah, the All Blacks guy, very noticeable, using a lot of this uh, kicks in behind today. Uh, that's probably the sixth or seventh occasion we've seen it used, and using it very effectively as well. And certainly with their kicking coach, uh, the former Australian rules player, Mick Burney, he's very big on, very big on this kicking game, very big on util utilising the kick as an attacking weapon. And we've we'll seen some positive results from it today. Is Yo Gallon coming on for Italy? As is uh, Paul Griffin, so another New Zealander on the pitch. Well, the Italians struggling somewhat, you can tell, physically in this heat now. It's been a very tough game for them. Portalusi is one of the players who has gone off. Troncon now going off to a terrific ovation in front of the presidential stand. -in. Well, Alessandro Troncon's a man who's held in very high regard in every country in world rugby. Uh, he's been such a great servant to the Italians, but also he's plied his trade in France and performed very well. So into the last 30 minutes or so on the Stade Velodrome. New Zealand lead by 62 points to 7. McAllister out to Major. Oh, and here's Howlett. Howlett dabs inside. It's the ball that comes It has. Jerry Collins is going to score the try. And now we're going to be within sight of 70. Once again, the use of the kick is an attacking weapon. Beautifully played. It's by Doug Howlett. Assists the situation really well here. Just drops it onto the right foot. There you go. So close to the touchline. Pressure coming through. Bergamasco's missed that one completely. Look at the All Black numbers there again. And the patience there of Leon McDonald. He allowed the ball to bounce. McDonald there, involved in the move. Inside of Collins, who has the easy bit. But it is, it's really, it's really difficult to assess this All Black performance this afternoon. Um, I think the press are going to be all over it. Just saying, it's just wonderful how good they're looking. But I've got to, I, I want to balance that a little bit with just how, how pretty inept the Italians have been. But this nice passing, good dip. It's, it's simple. And when rugby's played well, it's the simple things that are done very well. Guys coming from depth, running straight and handling the ball well. The passes are in front. It's an easy game when you watch it played like this.
And if it wasn't Jerry Collins there, there were about another three black oh, jerseys it's, it's, ready it's for It's been the case all afternoon, hasn't it? They've been everywhere. Guys are wanting to, they're wanting to get their hands on the ball and get themselves in position to be effective. We're away again. Chris Jack. Great strength, Luaki. There's Jack.